Hi, welcome to my video on the zeros of a quadratic. Function notation, P of X, is used to define a polynomial in terms of X. Notice P of X, polynomial P, that's the way I look at it. Examples, P of X is a polynomial as 2X plus 3, which is linear as a degree of 1. The P of X is a polynomial as X squared, which is a parabola, a basic or parent equation of a parabola. The P of X equals X squared plus 4X minus 12. Again, as a polynomial in terms of P of X. And notice P for polynomial P of X. And Let's go further and look at the zeros of a polynomial are the values that make the P of X equal to zero. So the zeros of a polynomial, P of X equals zero. The zeros are the values of X that make the P of X equal zero. Find the zeros of each. So the zeros are what make the P of X equal to zero. So let's make the P of X equal to zero and solve the equation. So 2x minus 6 equals 0. 2x equals 6. Move it over make it a positive. Divide by 2. So x equals 3. So if you sub 3 back in, 2 times 3, if you sub 3 back in, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. So the p of 3 equals 0. So the zero of this polyn, the p of x is a form of a uh, function notation, but it's again, it's something that's going to come up when we do the, uh, there's a, a unit that we do on polynomial functions that's related to the cubics, the quartics, the quintics, the degrees of three, degree of four, degree of five, etc. So that's why I'm introducing it as the P of X, which is a function notation. But the P is for polynomials. The zeros, I repeat, the zeros of a polynomial are the values of X that make the P of X equal to zero. So the P of X equal to zero. So we'll solve to find those values. Again, flip the equation right around. So I flip the equation, make the all of this make the right side go to the left, the left side will go, go over. So we flip it. And it's a quadratic, so it's factorable. x squared is x and x. The product is negative 2. The sum is plus 1. Factors are 2 and 1. And the product is negative, so it has to be a positive and a negative. And the sum is plus, so the larger number is positive, the smaller number is negative. So x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0, x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to 1. And you notice the zeros of a polynomial are very similar, and they are related to the roots of the equation. Notice when you solve this equation equal to 0, you're getting the roots of the equation. So the roots of this equation are really the, the values of x that make this equal to 0. It's the p so notice the P of negative 2. When you sub the negative 2 in, you will come up with a 0. The P of 1, when you sub 1 in. So if I put negative 2 in the place of X here and work it out, I'll get a 0. If I put 1 in the place of X, I'll come up with a 0. So the zeros of a polynomial are really the roots when you make the equation equal to 0. But it's just another terminology. The P of X equals X squared minus 4X. So the zeros, find the zeros. So the P of X is equal to zero. And we solve the equation. So X squared minus 4X equals zero. Quadratic, X is the GCF. So we take X out. X squared divided by X is X. Negative 4X divided by X is negative 4. And because it's a quadratic, we have two answers. X equals zero or X minus 4 equals zero. So x is 4. Again, the roots of this equation are 0 and 4. So that means the p of 0 
will give you a zero. The P of four will give you a zero. Again, if you put zero here and zero here and work it out, you'll get zero, subtract zero, will give you a zero. If you put four here, four squared, 16, put four here, negative four times four is negative 16. 16 minus 16 gives you zero. So the zeros of this polynomial equation, I call a polynomial equation, is the zeros are one and four. Repeat, the zeros of a polynomial are the values of x that make the p of x equal to zero. Really, they are the roots. The roots make the equation equal to zero. So we have zero, again, just to continue. So we now I can move this over and go 3x squared minus 3x equals 0. Because I have a negative, I'll move it over and make it positive. I'll factor out the 3x, x minus 1. 3x squared divided by 3x is x. Negative 3x divided by 3x, negative 1. So 3x equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. Divide by 3, x equals 0. x equals 1. So the zeros, so that means the P of zero will give you a zero, and the P of one will give you a zero. So the zeros of this polynomial equation is zero and one. There's two of them because it's quadratic. E, this is a polynomial equation with function notation. Notice it's in the factored form. So if we make the P of X equal to zero, we are getting, repeat, we are getting the roots of this equation. In, we are really, from the beginning, we are getting the zeros of the polynomial. So the zeros of the polynomial are really the roots of the equation. So x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0, x equals 3, x equals negative 1. And that means the p of 3 should give you a 0. And let's just check. Let's put 3 in the place of x. Let's put 3 in the place of x. Remember the p of 3, 3 is going in the place of x, it gives me a 0, 4, which gives me 0. So the p of 3 is 0. So 3 is a 0 of this polynomial equation, or 3 is a root of this equation. And if I do the p of negative 1, that means I'm putting a negative 1 in the place of x. So the P of negative 1, X is negative 1, so I put a negative 1 right here. There it is. I put a negative 1 right here. There it is, and I work this out. I get a negative 4 times 0, which is 0. So the P of negative 1 is a 0. So the zeros of these, this polynomial equation are 3 and negative 1. There's two of them. This is quadratic. Let me explain further. Let me explain what I mean by this now, explain the roots of an equation, the x-intercept of a graph, the zeros of a polynomial equation. Here we go. Notice now I have 2x minus 10 equals 0, and I'm saying solve or find the roots. Notice I'm solving because the equation is equal to 0, so I get 2x equals 10, divide by 2, and I get x is 5. So because this equation is equal to zero, I'm solving the equation, therefore I'm getting the roots. I'm finding the roots. I'm finding the solution. But if I rewrite the equation 2x minus 10 as y equals 2x minus 10, then this is an equation in terms of x and y. So what happens if I want to solve it? I'm finding the x-intercept because the x-intercept is when you let y equals 0. The x-intercept is x is 0. We're finding the y. So when I make y equals 0 to find the x-intercept, I have the same equation here that I do here. So the answer to this comes out to be x equals 5. But this equation is equal to 0. I'm finding the roots. This equation here is y equals 2x minus 10 as a line. So when I find the x-intercept of this line, because I let y equal 0, I'm really finding the value of x that makes y 0. 
which is the same as finding the roots of this equation. Let's go further. Find the zeros of this polynomial equation. So notice I got the P of X. P of X is a polynomial, polynomial equation. The zeros are what make the what? When I let the P of X equal zero, I'm finding the zeros of the polynomial. So by letting the P of X equal to zero, I'm solving the equation. Again, the same equation here is right here and is right here. So I'm finding that X equals five is the same answer. But notice, this is equal to zero from the start, so I'm solving it. This is Y equals, it's, equal, it's a graph, so I'm finding the X intercept of the graph by letting Y equals zero. I'm finding zero of zeros of this polynomial equation because it's linear. There's only one zero possible, one answer. Okay, so again, repeat. You, you solve an equation, you find the roots. You, you find the x-intercept of a graph, you find where y is zero, you find the values of x that make y zero. You find the zeros of a polynomial, you're finding the values of x that make the p of x zero. They're all the same, except it's different terminology. So the roots of an equation are the x-intercept of a graph, are the zeros of a polynomial equation. Solve, find the roots of this equation. Again, notice that this equation, solve and find the roots is already equal to zero, so we factor. Why factor? Because we have a quadratic. X squared is X and X. Factors of eight to give you a six are four and two. The product is positive eight, the sum is positive, so it's a positive four, positive two. So X plus four equals zero, or X minus two is equal to zero. X is equal to negative four, or X is equal to negative two. Quadratic normally has two roots, and here they are. So the, the roots or the solution to this equation is negative four and negative two. So each of these back in for x, sub negative four in here, and you'll get a zero. Sub negative one in the place of x, and you'll get a zero. So it has two roots because it's quadratic. So if you take the equation and change it to y equals two x plus six x plus eight, that means you're finding the x-intercept of this graph. And again, the x-intercept is when what? y equals 0. So you put 0 for y, and guess what? You have the same equation here as we have here. So we're getting the x-intercepts of this graph, which is the root of the equation when we solve it. So the answer is the same, only the terminology. The root of this equation is the solution. You're given the equation equal to zero. You find the roots. If you're given the equation in this form, you can, and you graph it, then you're going to find the x-intercepts. And if you're given this equation as the p of x, which is the um, function notation, you're getting the zeros of the polynomial. Polynomial p of x. So we make p of x equal to zero. And when we make the p of x equal to zero and solve it, we have the values of x, which are the zeros of this polynomial. So notice we get the zeros of a polynomial. We get the x-intercept of a graph, y and x. And we get the roots of this equation. They are all the same in essence. They're the same answers, but it depends on how it, you want to express it. Okay, the zeros of a polynomial are the same, same as the x-intercepts of a graph are the same as the roots of an equation. Match each. We have a statement and we have an equation. The roots of an equation, which one here represents the roots of an equation? Is it A, B, or C? So the roots of an equation, the equation is equal to zero. The roots of an equation is B, this one. The x-intercepts of a graph x-intercepts are of a graph, so we need x and y. So that's c, this one. And the zeros of a polynomial, we need p of x. p of x, so that's an a. And sometimes they don't have the p of x. Sometimes they write it out as the f of x equals x squared minus 4. 
So the zeros, they don't have necessarily, I say the P, because that's what's coming up in grade, in the higher grades. The P of X is for polynomials. It could be F of X, as long as it's in function notation. So that brings us an end to this video. And if you like the video, click on the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Visit my website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.